<laughs> oh, good lord. What's happening, everybody? Even after all this time, somebody in the distance, somebody in the darkness of the night, out here on these foggy shores, these foggy docks, is still talking, still bragging, <laughs> about rolling with Polly Adler. Welcome back, everybody. Good to have you here. It's Hurts one more time with a little more thief action. And you know what we're going to do? We're finally going to get to this Moira Asylum. Finally, episode 30 rolled around. We spent quite a bit of time off just collecting side loot, got getting sidetracked, dying. You know, <laughs> that death row was not kind. And at this point, I can't even remember why we're going to the asylum. I can't, I, I can't recall. I would have to dig deep into the archives, I think, into the video archives, to figure out the exact reason as to why we're heading there. But without any further ado, let's just do it. Yes. All right, so here we go. The Forsaken, Chapter 5. I'm sure some of you are, like, just, are, are you know, so pleased that this has finally taken place. Ah, ready to go? Give me a, a mocking clap. Now I remember why I don't like that. boats. Well, I hate swimming a whole lot more, so get in. Now, I'll take the oars. You row Good. about as well as I can dance. Good. I don't, I don't sure. want to do that. I don't, I don't the enjoy the, the rowing anyway. <laughs> Got my own little sh personal chauffeur. El Capitan here. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. Oh, I forgot to read it. I like to read these things. I, You know, I gotta get back into a thief game mode here. Thanks to the general. That was a narrow escape from the keep. Yes, it was. My hand is evidence of that. Yes, it. Yes, it is. And that's all we're getting. That's all we're getting. Condensed version, people. Condensed version. So, what does Aaron have to do with Moira? Oh yeah, it was Aaron. Aaron Did directed us here, didn't she? Yeah. Huh? Spirits. You know, the dead coming back to haunt the living. Punish them. You think Aaron's haunting you? I think something's going on, a basil. I ain't getting into it, though, not with you, sir. If Genevieve were still alive, I would have it, uh, you know, I'd remember, discuss it with her. But she's not. Or bird. A ritual. Some kind of an explosion. Aaron died. I'll never forget it. And everything else is... gone. Ah, oh, come on, Garrett. I know you wouldn't have put that gal in harm's way. She'd have put herself there easy enough. <sighs> There's an answer in here somewhere. I could feel it. This place has gone oddly quiet since there was a riot here. Some patients escaped. A few boats have come in. Nothing has come out. Nothing leaves this place, Garrett. Garrett! I don't know what you expect to find in there, but be careful. Don't become a ghost yourself. Careful is my middle name, sir. Yes, not really. I've been a ghost all my life. <laughs> you knew he had to have some witty retort here at the end. I've been a ghost all my life, Basso. It's been a long time since this island had a good reputation. Will I really find you here? All right, on the lookout for loot right, right at the gate here. Not seeing anything. I can't imagine there's going to be much down here in this, uh... I don't know. This, uh... This old shoreline. Um... I do remember that we're coming here with foodless. No Twinkies. No Twinkies, none to speak of, Garrett, so be careful. Be at your best, which is, of course, not gonna happen since... Well, since I just got back on after several days away from this game. Several days. So there's gonna be some rust, but uh, I gotta remember to check the vertical. I gotta get back into the thief... the thief mindset. I've learned much in 29 episodes. Can we put it into practice here, Garrett? Regain our title of Master Thief. All right, now, are there guard? Ooh, kind of creepy. 
breaking that statue there. Breaking through the fog. Who is that? Is that the Baron? Probably. Either that or it's old Montanesi. No, it wouldn't be Montanesi. He was a patient here. Yeah. Of course, he did become, you know, this kind of, this tortured artist. Is that what you call them? How do I get in here now? I can't open this. Oh, there we go. I forgot I could climb things. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. We've reached a junior thieving training status, which is where we like to linger. Mediocrity is my middle name. Not careful, no. Mediocrity. Alright, what do we have here? That looks like a plaque. Doesn't look like it can be removed, though. Let's take a look and see. Edwina Moira. Hers was the dream of the Baron brought to life. She's got a, She's looking for a handout. I don't think so, miss. I don't think so. Alright. Now, where am I going to go here? I guess I just have free reign out here. Bard. Were they trying to keep something out? Or in? That's not a great bar job. You know, usually you would want the... Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> you know, I like that kind of the last thing Garrett said there, which was, are they trying to keep something out or in? Because normally you would see, you know, <laughs> the wooden planks... Uh, you know, hammered in on the inside of the door if they were trying to keep something out. So God knows what the hell is in there. Seeing a shiny, though. So I guess they just kind of have free reign out here. Except, of course, I'm getting the real a vibe already. That uh, we're going to be dealing with monsters. We haven't seen the monster, the zombie creature thing, <laughs> in a while. You know, so I figure... You know what, I'd like to take the... You know what, I, I would really love to take the wheelchair for a ride. You know? <laughs> and, and like pop a little wheelie and uh, but of course I can't thank you Moira just the tease alright now I should be able to get up there somehow that upper balcony you'd think anyway I'm just looking for kind of climbable climbable uh, trigger let's see is there anything over there anything at all not seeing much Nothing's really standing out over there. Alright. I'm hearing something. Oh, this this place is certainly not abandoned. What is making that noise? I gotta turn my headphones up. It's creeping me out. Ah! What the, what the hell is that? I'm hearing whispering behind me. I'm hearing creaking out here in front of me. Something's banging on the window. I'm seeing shinies. I'm shitting my pants. What is this here? A chess piece? Oh, we got a few of them over here. Alright. Oh! Garrett! You could've used that, sir. Oh! Oh, it's open. Oh! It's open. Something's out here. I don't like- I don't like the looks of this. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little on edge right now. After all that went down. Uh, oh, here we go. Found the hand. Okay, the hand brush will give give us strength. Here. We'll use it as a weapon if need be. Yes. We will suspend disbelief. It's not actually a blackjack. It's a, it's our hairbrush. It's our hairbrush. It's our hand brush for brushing hands. Oh, we got an open window over there. If I could find a way up there. I guess not. I guess not. There is an open window. Alright, well, you better keep your wits about you here, good sir. You know, I don't like this door being open. I am, uh, certainly a little nervous right now. What is hmm. this? Yeah, okay. yeah, no kidding. Seems here. someone's expecting me. Uh, you know what, I got in my mind that we're gonna be dealing with these monsters. Oh, good lord, things closing behind me. By itself. By itself. Now, is this Moira Asylum? Is it still? Ugh. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, it's blinking. Ah! God damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't. I don't scare easily in games, but I was so focused. I was so focused. Oh my God! I was so focused on that blinking picture. Ugh. Good God. Aaron was here. Really? The female ward is probably a good start. <laughs> Can nobody oil a goddamn hinge around here? <laughs> that's, that's really getting disturbing. It's not helping. Alright, what is this? 
Activity log. Let's take a look. No visitors today, and no visitors today. Patient 63 received. <laughs> Lord Abercrombie. No visitors today. Patient 18 received her patron. Her patron. No, and then something. Then it's done. It's done. So, yeah, okay. That date, uh, you know, 522 of the year 842 is when it looks like this place went all to hell. Anyway. Yes, that's right, Garrett. Stay on edge, sir. Keep an eye on things. Don't get complacent. Don't get too comfortable in here. There you go. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know, with all those goddamn drawers in these desks. I mean, my god, there should be... What is rattling around in the... What's that? Registration office. If I could open this a little further. It's a little ajar. This place is creepy. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it, people. Alright, a uh, little pocket portrait. You know, I and I completely kind of blacked out there. C can I take this thing? It looks like a plaque. No, I can't. I, I kind of blacked out. Who is it? Who was the face that showed up in the... At the door? I, can't, I don't even know. I just remember screaming like a little girl. That's all I really remember at this point. And then trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to explain myself at that point. Good lord. <laughs> you know, wasn't really focused on what was going on. But anyway, okay, what am I doing? I guess we're heading up. Uh, I remember Garrett saying something about heading to the female ward. Oh, here we go. No. What is that? The uh, curtain. Oh. Oh. Windows banging. Come on, with the chandelier shaking. Everything's... Oh, good lord, we got birds flying by. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Alright. another. You know, I'm waiting for something that... With the way these desks have been set up, I'm waiting for, like, a little zombie monster to be hiding in there. You know? <laughs> That's what's gonna happen one of these times. Be ready for it, Garrett. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Alright, and come on. This, what good's a desk if you're not going to put stuff in the drawers? Good lord. And here, oh, here we go. Was I in here already? You know? This looks very familiar. Not much has changed since uh, the ground floor. Except for this lock on this cabinet. No, oh, you know there's going to be something decent in here. Come on, now. Oh, all right, some kind of ledger. Loot. I need the scissors first, you know, because we're gonna cut out a page of the ledger. There we go. Patient admitted. Find information about Aaron. Here we go. Received page. Patient 18. Okay, so she was mentioned in that activity log, right? Uh, patient 18 received her patron, and then everything went to shit. You know, you know, <laughs> it went to shit in the middle. In the middle of the log. Of the next day, yes. So it was one day later. <laughs> exactly. Okay, it received patient 18, young female, admitted by the state and delivered under guard. Condition moderate to poor, numerous abrasions and broken bones, arrived drugged and unconscious. So she didn't die in the fall, obviously, right? Instructed to keep her that way, due to extreme violent tendencies when not sedated. Moved to women's ward, a central seclusion for observation and treatment. Nurse Aubermill. And... Unless this happened uh, kind of prior to the whole her meeting Garrett and all that, all that jazz. I'm not really sure. I'm a little lost, you know, at this point. And just a l really on edge. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't get like this with games very often. <laughs> you know. Did somebody put something in my tea today? Let me get, let me get a sip of this. Alright, there we go. Alright, get focused here. Focus, man up here. Garrett Hurts. Man up. All right, so uh, there's the women's ward. There's one one entrance in. Let's go see what's over here because I didn't come over this way. Oh, really? With the creepy music, was that needed? Really, game? Hmm? You're not doing enough already to play with my mind to torment me? I guess not. All right, now I did see an open window at one point. Now what is this? The men's ward. All right. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? This will start. Now, should I push forward? Towards the uh, the woman's ward, or should I, you know, maybe check the men's ward? 
What's that? Oh, I guess I could have just closed it. Check the men's ward for loot first, you know. Hopefully, however the story plays out, it wasn't intending to bring me back here anyway at some point, you know. What's that door doing? <laughs> Goddamn drafts. Okay, we got a rope arrow. That's good. Seven, that's like 75 gold. Shower vent report. Let's take a look. Patient 63 has been sneaking out of her seclusion and creating disturbances in the men's ward. Well, no kidding. She's streaking up and down the halls. The vent from the showers appears... Oh, streaking up and down the shower. Uh, appears to be her point of egress and has been sealed with a threaded screws. Observation will determine whether this measure, measure was successful or not. And again, it's Nurse... Nurse Ratchet. Yes. All right, so... So we had uh, one of the female patients. Okay, now this door was was quivering. Now you can see there's an open. The window's not even open. I don't know what's causing that draft. Anyway, let's try and pick up the pace just a tad, just a tad. Uh, of course, I'm gonna. Well, you know what's gonna happen? There's, I'm gonna pick up the pace. I'm gonna start to forget about kind of the horror that this place is, and I'm gonna get. Uh, see, I'm gonna end up screaming like a little girl. Next jump scare comes across the screen. You know. Okay, here we go. Another, another goddamn document. All right, what does this one say? Huxley, I notice you've been absent quite frequently of late. I know the shifts in a reformation are difficult for you to bear, but we all must do our part to ensure the well-being of our most grievously ill patients. I have also noticed that lately you appear to be limping. Get Dr. Stedman and Dr. Shen, mind you, to look you over. We need all our nurses in top shape while our patron is on the prowl. What is this all about? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Alright, well, I don't know. Not really, uh, directing me anywhere. What's this gonna do? Okay, what are we doing? Waxing off. There we go. Where, where's that leading exactly? Get some scissors. Now, there was something about... Uh, a point that would lead us between uh, the woman's ward and the men's shower room, apparently. Ex <laughs> attention, excitable patients beyond. Okay, there's the woman's ward right there. Security ward. And where is this taking me exactly? Nowhere. Just kind of back out here. Now, where is this taking me? Oh my god, i got so many things to check. Oh, and of course. Oh, look at look at this desk. Oh, god, god, I can't I can't even open them. Christ, I'd be there until episode thirty-two, searching that goddamn thing. All right, what's down here exactly? Are we down in the shower room now? Am I am I backtracking? I don't think so. This I think this is new, isn't it? You know, maybe I should have just headed to the uh, the woman's ward first. I think we're probably going to be spending some time around here. Oh, again, with the syringe. Well, at least we're... I mean, we are in a mental institution. Freaking out uh, my, the sound of my own footsteps again. All right. <laughs> That's right, Garrett. Check, check those corners, sir. Keep your head down for too long. Zombies roaming these grounds. Just old lobotomized patients, you know. Haven't eaten in days, so very much the zombie. Very much the zombie. Alright, what is this? Oh, we got a little switch here. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I can't move that chair. Garrett, you, you wimp. You wuss. What is this exactly? That's something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Even my blunt arrow knows what it is. Let's see. I don't I doubt it. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's anything. It's just there for show. Alright, pack up the bow, and, uh... I really don't want to leave something back here, but I'm not really seeing anything, you know? Unfortunately... I should probably take a second and check the time. Yeah, we're 20 minutes here. And I was in here, wasn't I? That's boarded. That's taken me nowhere. Excitable patience. Alright, heading back upstairs, I guess, at this point. Searched all that. 
I gotta remember to check the vertical, you know? And you all should be on me about that. This game is very much about checking the vertical. Alright. No. What is that? What? Ah! What's that? Goddamn noise. What? Oh, it's a mouse. Good lord. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, was I, I was in here, wasn't I? I was. There's where I turned the thing. So I initially came in. Is that a ledger? So over here. I, I don't even know at this point. Alright, that's where I came in. And I have options here. I can cut over to the uh, the woman's ward at this point. I think that's probably a good idea. But for the time being, I think I'm going to wrap it because we are, we are at the 20-minute mark. We're just a little bit beyond it now. So at least we're getting the ball rolling here in Chapter 5. <laughs> it's been a, uh, a stressful episode, to say the least. Anyway, all thanks for stopping by, tuning in, and checking out this episode. I hope you dig it. I hope you thumb it. I hope I'll see you in the next one, as always, you know. And uh, until next time, remember why it hurts. Later.